how many people wish to remember Princess Diana, stunningly beautiful, smiling, and happy. But it was a much different image of the princess recently broadcast by CBS News' 48 Hours Investigate. She was unconscious. Uh, she didn't speak at all. The news magazine showed these black and white paparazzi photos of the accident that killed Diana in 1997. CJ's decided not to include the one in question, the photo showing the princess being treated in the wreckage, her face clearly visible. It's a photo that's led to a lawsuit filed by the father of Dodi al Fayed, Diana's companion who also died in the crash. Mohammed al Fayed filed these legal papers in U.S. District Court even before the pictures aired, claiming the broadcast was an invasion of privacy and would cause negligent infliction of emotional distress. Al Fayed said the segment would disclose private facts that he desires to keep private. The broadcast sparked outrage in England with angry headlines splashed across the tabloids and words of concern from visitors to Buckingham Palace. I just think it's a sensationalist and uh, in bad taste. The lady has died. Uh, it's going to be very, very hard on the family. The family, Prince Charles and sons William and Harry, have not commented publicly on the broadcast of the photos. But a royal advisor says they are worried that other broadcasters might follow suit, adding they regard this as the most offensive intrusion so far into the death of Diana. What's the point, really? You know, I mean, aren't we just, aren't we done with this? Let's move on. James Faulkner is a graphic artist for Warner Brothers who wears his British pride close to his heart, literally. He says the lawsuit over the Diana photos is welcome news for those who support the royals. They've been fair game up until now, and now it's time for them to really stand their ground and say, you know, hey, this is no good. You can't do this. CBS News says the Diana pictures were shown in context of an interview with the doctor at the scene and that it stands by its report. No matter what the outcome of the legal action, many who love Diana believe one thing. She died however many years ago, um, and she should be left to rest in peace.